Hey everyone, Rizal here, the Traveling Island Girl. I am in Gran Caz, and Gran Caz is a small fishing village on Frankside St. Martin. And it is my absolute, absolute favorite place in the entire world. And you're gonna see why in a little bit. I'm gonna take you today on a stroll of this little village and show you all the bits and pieces that makes this place so darn special. Are you ready? Let's go. My first stop in Grand Caz is this little place called Maison Chocolat. And this is where I like to come either for a plain croissant or a chocolate croissant, also known as Pena Chocolat. Let's go see inside. As you can see here, they have all sorts of really yummy stuff. Look at all this chocolate that is made right here in the back. And all of these pastries. And of course, there it is. The chocolate croissant. So I got my chocolate croissant and I got a little present from the owners, some Belgian chocolate to try for later. <gasps> so this one, we're going to have to move really quickly, guys, because I don't want these chocolates to melt. So let's go. And we are starting this walk in Grand Cas today right here from the parking lot. This is the main parking lot here and it is not super large, but it is free and it fills up quite fast. So if you're planning to spend the day here in Grand Cas, come early. It is also right near pretty much all of the main parts of Grand Cas. to briefly stop on this bridge for a view of the water before making my way through the main street of the village with its many shops and restaurants including the famous Lolo's. Right, guys so this is the lolos the famous lolos it's a cluster of about five restaurants five small restaurants each of them selling pretty much the same as the other but the smell that is coming right now from the grill is intoxicating it's about midday so perfect for lunch but before we do that i'm gonna take you on the rest of the stroll and then come back here for a proper meal And right next to the Lolos is another of my favorite spots here in this village. This is the Grand Cas Pier. And this is where I like to come and admire the beauty of this village. The water is utterly beautiful, which only makes me regret not bringing my swimsuit. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is that there is a second airport right here on Frankside St. Martin and as you can see there's a plane landing there now.
right here under this pier is one of my favorite places to visit and you must have seen this in my or in one of my photos on my Instagram account. Look how gorgeous this is. It's perfect for a photo op. Here in Guancas is also where you find these colorful steps. If you've been on my Instagram lately, you have seen these for sure. Always a pretty sight. Here in Main Street, Guancas, you'll see a lot of different little shops and of course restaurants as well. Speaking of restaurants, that is one of the reasons why Main Street Grand Cas is also referred to as Restaurant Alley or Restaurant Row. In case the parking lot or the large parking lot that I just showed you at the beginning of this video is full, you can always park in one of these little spots for just about five euros or five US dollars. Some of the more famous restaurants of St. Martin are located right here in Gran Casa. You have Ocean 82, Bistro Caraib right here, and of course, Lobert's Gourmand. Lauberge Gourmand is definitely one of the crowd's favorites. Let's take a quick peek at the menu. I just had dinner here not too long ago and as per usual, it did not disappoint. This one here is La Villa, which is also a very well-known one. And what I like about La Villa is they have a fixed menu for not a lot of money actually and you can actually choose any item on the main menu. Just next to La Villa is Le Cotage, another wonderful place to dine. And the reason all of these places are closed right now is of course, it is lunchtime. A lot of them don't open for lunch. And also it is the so-called off season, low season or summer months. Right now at the time of filming, it is August. Hold on another little shop that you must go inside it's really cute got really lovely spot here as well in this little courtyard as i was saying it is august at the time of filming and as you can see, a lot of things are closed and that is a normal thing in our so-called low season. It's like a lot of restaurants and shops closed for the month of September and August until about mid-October. All of these houses, by the way, are just, their backyards is the ocean. How cool is that? And this, of course, is the Catholic Church of Gran Cas. Mary Star of the Sea.
I now have the church behind me and we are continuing our stroll in Gran Caz. And one thing you need to know is uh, you probably have noticed in, during this filming that there's a lot of cars passing through this street, the main street of Gran Caz. And so you need to watch your back at all times because it is quite narrow. <laughs> Hello, salut. And you have to make sure that you don't get hit by... Hello, good afternoon. And you need to make sure that you don't get hit by a side mirror or anything like that. So just watch your back. Another small little restaurant here in the back. So you see, Gran Caz has all sorts of places that you gotta visit, that you gotta just, you know, you can stroll down Main Street Gran Caz, grab a bite, uh, sit down on the beach. Um, speaking of the beach, we're going now next to two places that are very famous for relaxing on the beach with beach service. But before we do that, let me just show you another parking lot right in the back of me. And this one's also five euros, five dollars. The good thing about this one in particular is that they have a sort of an agreement with some of the restaurants here in the area and they will validate the parking for you. So good thing to know. Check out this little guy just chilling. So here's another entrance to the beach. There are all sorts of little alleys off of the main street that will take you straight onto the beach. You can take on your own towels and your own lounge chairs and just come and sit on this wonderful, wonderful beach. You know what, let's just take a look. Can you see now why this is my favorite place on earth? Look at this. Isn't it just wonderful? And the good thing about the Gran Caz Beach is that on this side, usually there are no restaurants with beach service. So you can pretty much grab a spot and just make it your own. Or you can head on to any of these places here and get your own beach service and get the service or get the food and drinks brought to you on the beach. Most of them will rent you a spot if you are having lunch with them. Also, another thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but all the way in the back of me, all the way over there on the horizon is another island and that is the island of Anguilla. So if you are a lover of Anguilla like I am, this is a perfect spot because you can sit here on the beach of St. Martin and just look at one of your favorite places or at least it's one of mine. Okay, let's continue our walk. So you might be asking yourself, where all can I stay when in Gran Castle? Excellent question. There's a couple of hotels, small and large, here in Gran Castle. One of them is Le Tom de Cerise, a very cute and uh, very trendy boutique hotel. I don't know if you can hear the airplane behind me. There's another one landing at the moment. Seems to be quite a busy day at the airport of L'Esperance today. This is the entrance to the Thompson cities. We're not gonna go in today. I'm gonna leave that for yourself to explore. And right across of it, there is Heve, which is more like a I won't say a hostel because it's not a hostel, not by far, but it is a more affordable option. And it has breakfast in the morning. It's a cute little place. I've seen the rooms. The rooms are really pretty. Worth the price and you're just steps away from the beach. And just a little bit further down the street is the famous, oh, hold on. This is a new spot that I didn't know about. Love Bowls. Probably didn't open yet because this is a brand new building. It 
So right here is the famous Rainbow Beach Bar and Restaurant and it is quite trending on Instagram and apparently the inside is very Instagrammable as they say. Very famous little place. And yes, it is very beautiful inside. I've been a couple of times and I've done a wonderful, wonderful job. Continuing on to the end of the main street in Brancas. You're gonna see we're heading on to the, we're coming here at the end, which is, which comes out on the busy road. And right here at the end is Captain Frenchie's, another famous spot to lounge on the beach and get your lunch and cocktails. All right, so now that I have completed the stroll down Main Street, Grand Cas, it is time to head back to the Lolos and grab some lunch. So one of the things here is always very hard to choose which one you're going to. So you just need to check the menu, pretty much all of them so pretty much the same thing uh, and you just gotta choose your favorite of the day now this gentleman here is gonna show me to my table do you have my favorite table available yes that's right all <laughs> right let's go right here look at this view perfect so let's check out the menu Ooh, it starts with wine and drinks. Great. And the other side, here we go. Now, I am personally a vegan on a good day, a vegetarian on a sunny day, and a pescatarian on a bad day. And today feels like a bad day. So let's have seafood. One thing that you must have here is definitely either the stuffed Christophine or the stuffed crab bag a must so one thing that you must have here at the lolos is a tea punch it's very strong it's actually agricole rum which is rum that is made either in guadeloupe or in martinique and it is served with well it's actually it's a squeeze of lime and there's some cane syrup in it as well and this is all rum, ladies and gentlemen. So this is very, very strong, but a must have. You must try it when you're growing cast. Mm. It's good, but it burns on the way down. <laughs> Another thing too that you should know is that this drink, their drinks here are usually served in plastic and I actually brought my own glass from home because I am so against single-use plastic that I will not show it on my videos so or in my videos just a little FYI my crab bag is here this is the crab bag so the crab bag is actually crab meat and they take it out of the shell and then they cook it and then they stuff it back which is why it's called uh, stuffed crab bag and then they stuff the meat back with all kinds of herbs and stuff and then they put it in the oven and grill it on the top so this is it right here and as you may have noticed I also brought my metal straw because I know that here they always have plastic straws which is a big no-no especially so close to the turtles that we just saw earlier okay so bon appetit let's try this it's very hot mm. yummy as always very very good like I mentioned before, these five restaurants have pretty much the same menu. It's a matter of choosing the one that speaks to you the most, if you've never been here before, that is. But each one is famous for something, whether it's their grilled meats or their crab bag or their view. And if you come on a busy day, you will have to go with whichever one has a seat available for you. So I ordered mahi and potato salad, some coleslaw and green salad, and it just arrived and it just looks magnificent squeeze some lime on that
And let's try fish. Amazing, as usual. And I'm an addict of potato salad, so of course, I have to have my potato salad. Mm. And this view. Can be beat, right? It just can be beat. Grand Cas may be a small fishing village, but it has so much to offer. And not only does it have a lot of great little stores to shop at, it is also known, of course, for its great restaurants from really simple sit on benches kind of places like the Lolo's, where we just been, to more sophisticated dining possibilities like Lobert School Mall and the others. It has small planes landing at the nearby Grand Cas Airport, which can make for quite a sight, and hotels like Le Thompson's and my two absolute favorites l'esplanade and le petit hotel only make run cast the perfect spot for a vacation or a staycation it is definitely where my husband and i like to come for a weekend of relaxation and good eating and the beach oh the beach stole my heart many years ago and has not given it back just yet can you see now why Grand Cas is my favorite place on earth? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. But wait, we are not done yet. I still have one more stop to make on the way out of Grand Cas. Come along. Grand Cas! <laughs> Here's another great restaurant, by the way, Le Prossoir. You do not want to miss Le Prossoir, always a good one. And you recognize this little place from the beginning of the video, Le Maison Chocolat. And another thing I love, I love, love, love about Grand Cas is how local it is. It is a very local little fishing village. So people here still go out fishing in the morning and bring out their catch of the day. And then of course you have all of these houses, which, you know, their backyard is the beach. I mean, how lucky. As you can see, there's still some of the damage is left from the hurricanes in the past. And then here is the Tijon. I don't know if you guys know Tijon. Tijon is where you can make your own uh, eau de toilette, your own perfume. I am absolutely melting this heat today. It's crazy. But at the same time, this great weather also makes for beautiful photos and videos. In the back of me, you can see L'Esplanade Hotel, which is one of my favorite places to stay here in Grand Cas. If you want to know more about the hotel, you can go to my blog www.thetravelingislandgirl.com for a more in-depth look at what this hotel has to offer. And its sister hotel, Le Petit Hotel, I stay there too. And that's all the way on the other end of the bay, also as fabulous. Yum! Always good. Whatever Frank makes is great. All right, Frank, tell us a little bit about Les Planard Hotel. It's one of the best places to be in St. Martin, okay? <laughs> and why are you the best bartender? I'm not the best bartender, I just love what I do, okay? <laughs> you know another thing I love about this place? The straws here are made of avocado seed. This is a song. And with that, we've come to the end of this video and also to the end of a wonderful day in Grand Cas. And I do hope you've gotten some valuable information out of it and that you would put Grand Cas in your itinerary to St. Martin if you are planning to visit us anytime soon. Also, let me know in the comment section below. I am really dying to know what you thought of Grand Cas. What did you think was so special about this little village? And do you understand now why it is so special to me? 
thank you for watching don't forget to like this video if you've gotten some great information out of it and don't forget to share it with your friends and family who are also thinking about coming to see martin i'll see you next time bye